Uh, before we go to assembly, I wanted to add a couple of things. One, what do you need to, to assemble it? So one, you, you need a screwdriver. You can use basically a hand screwdriver, but there's quite a lot of screws. So you would definitely benefit from using a power tool. And I'm also using extension like this for, for the screws here in front of the panel, because this way, I make sure I'm not gonna uh, damage the glare shield. But again, the, the extension is something extra. What I would do, just uh, use a power tool to get all of the screws everywhere, except uh, for the faceplate, I would use just a manual screwdriver, a long, long screwdriver, and just get those uh, screws and make sure I don't scratch the glare shield. One more thing uh, you will see in the video, uh, I, I use the table to kind of do the assembly. So what, what I would say, if you do it on the table, put a towel or something on it, because once you put the panel on its side and on another side you have uh, screws, you can scratch the table. And in fact, I, I scratched mine. So <laughs> uh, something to, to keep in mind. In today's video, we're gonna go over assembly of uh, Flight Sim Builder basic control panel. So as you might see on the website, we have two uh, new panels, one with uh, for the basic controls, which is for honeycomb uh, yoke and throttle. And then we have the premium control panel to use it with the virtual fry con controls. So first of all, I want to show you, this is pretty much everything which you need to build the panel. It comes in a, in a box, which you can see is a low profile. And also because it comes with a kit, we were able to get the price, uh, I think very competitive. Um, you can see the quality of all of the parts, they're incredible. I don't think there is anything at this price point. So um, for example, this is your glare shield. This is all, you know, plastic mold that has a really nice kind of rubber type finish. It's a plastic, but it's, you know, looks a little half rubber. So really nice. And then, so this is your face plate. Again, very nicely done. Very nice finish. Yeah, and this is basically disassembled. So once you put it all together, a uh, really beautiful panel and uh, all of the other parts to basically build your base. They all are very sturdy, very well made. Also pre-drilled holes. So it's gonna be fun to put it together. So let's do it. Okay, we'll take the instructions. So the first page goes over to make sure you have all of the parts which we need. Then you have two types of screws. That's all you need. So uh, most of the screws, it's gonna be the pen head screws. And we're gonna use a couple flat head screws as well. We recommend to use a power tool. So if you don't have it, you know, might be a good time to get one. All right, so step number one, we will put together the metal front and back frames. So this is two sides. And then we need the metal front and metal back. It's basically these frames. So it says make sure countersink. So this is the countersinks. So they're gonna be facing out. All right. So it basically like this. And you put it here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put one aside. We're gonna take the front and back and we're gonna attach it to, to the sides. All right, so we align these four screws. I'll probably just start it. by hand and then use the power tool. You know, we wanted to make it really easy to assemble. So what I called Ikea type of assembly, <laughs> where it's pretty easy to put it all together. Um, 
full transparency I'm not the best putting stuff together so I'm kind of lose patience sometimes and stop looking at the instructions and then I find I didn't do something right and I have to redo it so it's gonna be a good test uh, okay and then we do the same on this side let me see are you gonna be able to do it this way no they're not gonna align so there's just a couple of things where you know we need to make it more user friendly <laughs> so you can only put it hopefully together one way but there's still a couple of things where I think you should look at the instructions uh, even though when I built it first time some of the prototypes I didn't have any instructions so and I was able to put it together it was a good test <laughs> So as you can see so far, pretty straightforward. So and again here, you need to make sure that the countersink, there is a couple, they facing out. So that's I think it's important step. Then I'll put it this way and I, I have my second face and again the countersink facing out. All right, already starts looking like a panel. So we're done with the step one and two. Step three, attach the metal top to the both front and the metal frame, center of the cap and using four pen head screws on each side. Okay, so now we get this part, which basically go, goes on top. So I'll put it back like it was. Align it here with the screws. We got the top attached, so step three is done. So step four, metal bottom. All right, so this is where we're gonna be using uh, flat screws. We get the bottom part. All right, so here's the bottom part. So I guess I'll put it first. And yeah, let's see. And this goes on the outside. All right, very good. So this might be the only place where we need uh, flat head screws. But it basically just goes here. And I think it's because the panel is gonna go on the outside. So there's two holes outside, the smaller ones, so make sure you, you don't use those. I guess if you use it, it's not gonna go anywhere, but yeah. It's actually, it's on the instruction, it's really clear where to put it. So we basically have most of this panel done, right? But there's nothing here and it's kind of curved. So for this part, we're using the small brackets like this and we attach them basically here All right, so step nine, attach the covers to the metal top. So this part, we actually, we're planning to ship it flat, uh, but the part I have, it's already bent, but it's basically, it's gonna be flat and you just attach it and screw it. So, um, you know, maybe I'll do another video with this one, but it's easy to align the screws. So it's the same thing. And then you, you get going.
All right, so we have the top cover all done very well. We have this little extra tab, which needs to go here in the middle. And we need to use the flat hat. So next we sandwich. So we put the glare shield. And then we put the face plate and now we basically need to secure it with the uh, screws the way um, I would do it it's first to secure these two holes because they're not sandwiched uh, through the layer shield but it's gonna pull pull the panel in the right place all right and uh, now the holes should be aligning okay looks pretty good so the next two now i would pull the glare shield here so i'll do this one and the one on this side okay and now pretty much all of the holes should be pretty pretty aligned, but I'll do two more on top. And then just basically go and get everything else secured. All right. So now you have pretty much the whole panel built and it looks awesome. So you're gonna take um, and put our G1000s and then we're gonna put the honeycomb um, yoke and throttle and yeah we're gonna be done so I like it to probably place it like this I don't want it to be too far forward so just align with the table and yep yeah, so we take this uh, beat up yoke and throttle they probably seven years or something <laughs> and uh, yeah just put it here and then secure on the bottom we take the throttle and same thing sort through the opening and the same thing on the back that right, looks good so Again, once you're kind of comfortable with where you're going to have your panel, I would screw it to the table so it's all secure. But to be honest, it's pretty good for me, for example. That's again because you're pushing it from here. Just want to make sure that, you know, uh, the table is stable. It's all good. So the next thing we're going to take our uh, flight scene builder. 1000 panels and if you have our units you know they secured on the back with this uh, little brackets so basically put it here and you take MFD put it here same thing Okay, then the audio panel goes in the middle. It's also secured from the back with the, uh, with the bracket. And we have uh, two little extras. One it's the pause button and one it's your tachometer. Insert here. And the tachometer is going here. And then secure it with the two screws. Good. And you have a full uh, simulator. Yeah, which is, I think looks, looks amazing. So let's take some close-ups. Very clean design. No nothing extra. I 
All right, so next thing we're gonna also show you how it's installed on the next level racing stand. Um, but yeah, I 